So today I'm taking a look at how a couple of different um, uncommon greens mix with other colors. I'm looking at Brilliant Yellow Green, which is a mix that Liquitex has, and Green Gold, which is from Golden. They're both yellow greens, but they're very different yellow greens, and I really like both of them. I've this is um, I've used up almost this complete tube of the Brilliant Yellow Green and this Green Gold. It's a new tube, but I've actually used up a couple tubes in the past. So let's just talk about um, Brilliant Yellow Green for a moment. It is a bright green. It is something where you want a really modern color palette. Um, I've used it in paintings um, of Northern Lights. Um, and also you could use it possibly where like the sun is hitting grass and you want something really, really bright. It's not going to be for everyone, that's for sure. Green Gold, it's also, like I said, a, another yellow green. It's, I think it's a beautiful yellow green, but it's uh, not bright like um, Brilliant Yellow Green is. It's, it's like a muddy lime color, and this is great for landscapes as well. Both are mixes. So Green Gold has three different colors mixed into it, or three different pigments. Nickel Azo Yellow, Thalo Green Yellow Shade, and... I might not pronounce this right, but Benzimidazolone Yellow. And Brilliant Yellow Green. It's also a mix of a few pigments. So Thalo Green Blue Shade, Titanium White, Hansa Yellow Light, and Diarrhealide Yellow. So because of the Titanium White that's added to it, it has a brighter value than uh, a lot of colors that you might work with. Okay, so let's get, oh. I'll just quickly show you the colors that I'm mixing it with. So the two yellows are Cadmium Lemon and Cad Free Yellow Medium, Thalo Blue Green Shade and Ultramarine Blue, Quin Magenta and Cadmium Red are the two red colors, and then I have a couple secondaries, Cadmium Orange and Dioxazine Purple, and I'm using the very end of this tube of Titanium White so that we can see some of the undertotes because some of them, some of these shades get pretty dark. Not so bad with these ones because both of these have some yellow in it. Um, and yellow is a pretty high value color of all the primaries. Um, so the values of them aren't quite so dark as some other colors. Okay, so brilliantly yellow green, as you can see it is, it is a lime green. Straight out of the tube, add a bit of white gets a bit paler and I'll just do a couple more mixes with white just so we can see and like I said it already has some titanium white in it so just straight out of the tube it's a pretty light value okay so now let's move on to cadmium lemon so here is a lot of cadmium lemon a little bit of the brilliant yellow green it's already a really low value color but i'll add a bit of white i mean this is brilliant yellow green both is a green that leans quite yellow has some titanium white and uh once you add more yellow into it it's just it's a pale color next we'll take some of the cad lemon mixed with a lot of the brilliant yellow green and I don't think it looks too, too far off of what uh, the other mix is. And that's something that can happen when you have, you're mixing two colors that are pretty close together already on the color wheel. You're not gonna get uh, major changes. And also as I go through um, all these mixes, I'm not putting a, an exact amount of, uh, of each color. I'm just, you know, just doing it by feel, going with like what first feels right, I guess. Okay, so that's cadmium free yellow medium with a, a lot of the cad free yellow and just a bit of the brilliant yellow green. And here it is with a lot of the brilliant yellow green. And let's mix it with a bit of white. Let's see what we're really working with. Now let's move over to Thalo Blue Green. 
So here it is, mixed with a lot of the phthalo blue and green. Makes a really, really great jewel tone, I would say. Add a bit of white. Now let's move over to phthalo blue green, but with a lot of the brilliant yellow green. That makes for a really, really bright grassy green. And I'll add just a bit of white to that. Now let's look at ultramarine blue. So the mix with a lot of the blue and a little bit of the brilliant yellow green. Add some white. There we go. Now with ultramarine blue, it has a lot of, um, or it leans more red. So it ends up being a bit more of like a grayish blue with a lot of the, when you mix it with a lot of the blue, ultramarine. Now here is ultramarine mixed with a lot of brilliant yellow green. And add a bit of white. definitely doesn't have the intensity of the previous colors, that's for sure. Okay, Quinn Magenta. So here is a lot of the Quinn Magenta. And I noticed with the, when I was mixing the Quinn Magenta how it really, whoops, put that over there, how it really um, decreases the value of the reds even more than I noticed on the blues. And that's because of the titanium white that's already mixed into the brilliant yellow green. And here is Quinn Magenta with a lot of the brilliant yellow green. Maybe not the most pleasant color, but uh, probably useful at times. Not quite almost earthy. So I'm gonna go back and, cause I accidentally put some of the this first color the white on there. Okay. So now let's look at our mixes with cadmium red. So with a lot of cadmium red, that's what brilliant yellow green looks like. So still pretty intense red. Let's look at it with some white. You can see it's just starting to move to be a little bit orangier when you mix it with the brilliant yellow green. Now let's look at it with a lot of Brilliant Yellow Green and just a touch of uh, Cadmium Red. It's really toned down that color. Now let's look at Cadmium Orange. So a lot of Cadmium Orange and just a little bit of Brilliant Yellow Green. Add some white. A little bit more white so you can see. a lot, a little cadmium orange and a lot of brilliant yellow green. And add some white. And finally, last couple of mixes with brilliant yellow green, we've got our dioxazine purple. So uh, there it is with just a little bit of brilliant yellow green. And let's add some white. Now with a lot of brilliant yellow green and just a little bit of purple. And some white. Okay. Now let's take a good clo close look at uh, green gold. Now let's start with just straight green gold. It's a really uh, translucent color. So there are times when I find it a little tricky to work with, but I really like it. Just keep adding a bit more white. Just 
you can get a good idea of the range you can get of values just straight from the tube with a bit of white. Okay, so as you can see, definitely more of an olivey, muddier color than the brilliant yellow green. Okay, now let's take a look at cadmium lemon mixed with a little bit of the green gold. Add some white. Now, just like with the um, brilliant yellow gold, or brilliant yellow green, um, green gold mixed with the yellows because they're so close together on the color wheel, you're not going to see dramatic differences. But you can, you know, nudge it one direction or the other. So there is green gold mixed with a lot of cadmium, or sorry, a lot of green gold mixed with a little bit of cadmium lemon. Okay, cad free yellow medium. So a lot of the cad free yellow medium, a little bit of the green gold, add some white. Definitely warmer than mixing with the cad lemon. And with a lot of the green gold and just a bit of the cad free. And add some white. Okay, let's move over to phthalo blue. So here is a lot of phthalo blue mixed with a little bit of the green gold. It makes an incredible, like, emeraldy color. Now let's add some white. And now let's take a look at the mix of phthalo blue green mixed with a lot of the green gold. That could probably be a pretty useful color in landscapes. Now let's take a look at it with some white. Now, ultramarine blue mixed with, or a lot of ultramarine blue mixed with a bit of the green gold makes a nice dark color. And add some white to that. Definitely seeing some graying out of that green once you add a lot of ultramarine blue. And let's take a look at it with just a little bit of ultramarine blue. And a bit of white. Green gold is so translucent that I, even when you start mixing it with, like you can see it with the ultramarine blue and the phthalo and the yellows, it's, it's, uh, it's difficult to get a nice opaque color. So just keep that in mind when you're, uh, when you're painting with it. Okay, Quin Magenta, so here it is with a lot of Quin Magenta. So it doesn't, it's taken down some of the kind of purpliness that comes with uh, Quin Magenta. And there it is with white. Now, let's take a look at a lot of green gold mixed with a bit of Quin Magenta. There you go, We're very, Oof, I don't know how to, what to call that color, muddy, orangey, orangey green, I guess. Um, and very translucent because both Quinn, magenta, and green gold just really um, really aren't very opaque. And there it is with some white. Now let's take a look at cad red. So lots of cad red, a little bit of uh, green gold. Now let's add a little white. Now lots of green gold mixed with a little bit of cad red. Another muddy color. 
add some weight. It's interesting how it becomes such a yellow color. Now, cadmium orange. So lots of cadmium orange, a little bit of green gold. Add a bit of white to that. It really just brings down the intensity of the cadmium orange a little. Now, lots of green gold and a little bit of orange. And add some white to that. And finally, we'll just take a look at the mix of dioxazine purple with green gold. So lots of dioxazine purple, and it is dark, dark, dark. So let's add a bit of white so we can see what we're dealing with here. And our last mix, which is a lot of the green gold mixed with um, a little bit of the dioxazine purple and again a fairly dark color. Add some white. You can see it's gone quite brown. Okay, so that's it. That's our quick look at Brilliant Yellow Green and Green Gold, how they compare. Very different colors, um, but it is interesting how you can still get some somewhat intense colors, um, depending what you mix it, like with the Thalo Blues, which is no surprise, Thalo Blue can be is a very intense color. Um, brilliant Yellow Green, you are a little, little bit limited because it does already have the uh, um, titanium white mixed into it, so you're never going to get a really, really dark color. Like even Dioxazine Purple, which is a generally makes some really dark mixes, depending what color it's mixed with, it already is uh, moved up the value scale a little bit when you just add a little bit of the Brilliant Yellow Green. So it is a little bit limiting with that on that side. I really love working with it. I don't know if I will run out and buy a new tube um, as soon as I finish this one because I think I'll be able to get essentially the same thing, just mixing Thalo Blue with uh, like a Cad Lemon. Um, so I might do that a little bit in the future, um, but I'm also not, I'm not so strict that uh, as much as I want to reduce the number of tubes of paint, I probably will, you know, one day just accidentally buy it in the store because that's just how it goes when you're, uh, when you love paint colors. Um, green Gold, I really like Green Gold. Um, one tricky thing that I've always found with it is it's just so translucent. Um, you can see right on the tube, you know, you can see um, just how much you can see through of the little black bars that they have here. And if you compare it to like the ultramarine where you barely see anything at all. Um, so that is a little bit tricky, but that just means your layer and you can use it for glazing and things like that. So I hope you liked this uh, comparison or a close look at these two different colors and helps you choose what colors um, you'll buy the next time you go to the paint store.